Hello guys, what up? This is Dato of Alex and today I'll be sharing my own personal Vegas Pro Render settings and the settings that I use to render out all of my uh, content that I created for my YouTube channel as well for my Instagram as well as Facebook and other media social platform and all the settings are pretty much the same but for certain type of um, video I've made I may use different type of settings but most likely all of them are pretty much the same so before I jump right into the tutorial I would like you guys to visit videohive.com they're selling a pretty good stock footage where you can buy from them really good price and also they're selling a high quality stock footage you can also purchase um, audio file from audio jungle and some also uh, project file related to Adobe After Effects and etc so Go ahead check it out in the link down below so let's jump right into the tutorial so the first thing first uh, let's say here is your video that you have edited so i just already rendered this video earlier so for to make my tutorial a bit easier but just let's say um th this is your finalized project and you want to start um, rendering so before that, you want to make sure your project properties are in this sort of settings. So I save mine in this custom template. The width and height is obviously it's a 1080p full HD uh, resolution. Um, if you are planning to output at 4K, just um, fill in the width and height in the 4K pixels. But I'm just rendering my video in 1080p for now. The fill order you want to set to non-progressive scans. Um, pixel uh, expert ratio is 1000. The output rotation you want to leave it zero. The frame rate is 24, but for tutorial video I render out 29. For video I made for my client um, or for competition I render out at 25. But for uh, content for like Instagram or YouTube, I just render out things at 24. Pixel format, you want to leave it at 8 bits. Make sure your stereoscopic is off. Your full resolution rendering quality are the one who make things difference because a lot of people don't know where about this. So of course, full resolu uh, resolution rendering, you want to set to the best. Take note, this uh, rendering quality doesn't relate it at all with this one here. This is just to preview your video. If you set it to preview quality, but this one at the best, your video is still gonna output at the best quality. This one just to reduce the resolutions on preview box so you don't encounter any lag while editing. Okay. Um, the motion blur type I leave it at Gaussian. The deinterlace method I set it to interpolate fills. As what I know, it reduce a bit more effect. And the resample mode I leave it as this. You know, just disable resampling. You don't want resampling on your video. Hit apply. So once you're done, um, change the settings and stuff like mine. You want to render out your videos. So again, you need to be make sure that both project properties and render um, rendering format are the same. If none of them are in the same format, your video is going to look weird once you render out. So I'm going to turn off the filter. So in the render box, you want to select the Magix AVC AAC MP4. So you, once you hit that, you have a varieties of selections. So mine is at um, 1080p 24 frames. So I select this one here, which is on uh, the 29 frames um, or 25. But since it's 24, you hit customize template and change the frame rate into 24. Simple as that and save it as your own custom templates make sure everything is exactly and once you're happy with it um let me just turn on my filters um you can click your custom uh, render um template and press render pretty much that's it so if you have any question related you can just leave it down in the comment section and hope you guys like it and see you guys on my next upcoming tutorial video